Hey guys, Anthony here from Triple X RC Garage, and what's in front of me is my Gen 8. Now, which Gen 8 is it? Well, technically, it's the orange one with the new body on it. And the other thing I did too on this is five months ago, before this edition came out, I had already installed the Hobby Wing uh, Axe system in it, the 2300K KV motor, just same exact that comes in this truck. So anyway, I had already done all that. I had already put the new gear set up in it too, so it, all, it already has the metal gears. Um, so the only thing it didn't have in it, or doesn't have in it, is the reservo. Well, found somebody who was dismantling one of the trucks and I got one of the Reef Cat servos, Red Cat servos, the 422 is gonna go in it. The other thing that this doesn't have, which I was planning on doing anyway, and I was hesitating to go with the metal housings because the metal housings were $80 for one set, for the front and one for the back, just the centers, not even the outer ports. Well, because I had problems with these original axles breaking, they came out with this, which is already installed in the new axe system, or axe edition, I should say. Uh, this has the extra supports and everything for the, for the um, shocks. So what I'm gonna be doing next here is flipping this truck upside down. Oh, and I already had installed the flat skid plate from Bauhaus. I'm not changing that out. I'm not getting a Red Cat one put on here because I already got this one and it's doing what I needed to do. To me, this is not that big of a deal. This is an aftermarket. Just like I did the aftermarket on the uh, servo relocation and I did the all metal aluminum shock towers, which is the extension for the Act for the draw, uh, chassis because the chassis was like way back. I mean, like the chassis ended like right here. If you can see that. So I went ahead and did that. Got the uh, Club Five Racing Servo Relocation Kit, and I also did the link. Uh, time to open up the. open up the packaging let's see what we got in here I'll move this up here for a second so oh look at this so it does come with so the shocks are missing the balls it comes with the balls for the shocks and it comes with the screws to make it work so thumbs up red cat and uh Putting some gloves on because I'm starting to get into the grease here. And it just makes life a little easier to clean up and so forth. So I already pulled the outputs on both sides. <clears throat> Def covers. And there is the main gear. So all you gotta do is push down on where your drive shaft hooks up and the whole thing pops out. Then you just gotta recover your bearings. The other things we gotta do too is we gotta pull these three screws out. I think it's three. Yeah, three screws out to put in this new housing here. So let me go ahead and recover the bearings. And there they are. So the bearings have been recovered. So now just got to dig our way to to the uh, Three screws. It's finished putting this back together. And this is the new reinforced housing. So what it replaced on here is how it used to have the single ball here that held the shock. So there was no support here. So this would end up breaking off of this. Same as the rear. Where the new one has a bolt that's going to go all the way through into here so it's going to support from here to here it's going to give it more stability so thumbs up uh, axle uh, thumbs up 
red cap for the upgrades. <clears throat> so that's the front one is finished. So before I move forward, I'm going to go ahead and put the um, front back on and then we'll move next to the rear. All right. So I got the little ball swivels on the shocks. Pan hog mount there. And of course the shocks. And this is gonna go on like such. Okay, I get the rear off. And I'm gonna lay out my rag now to uh, dismantle this axle and to put together this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and push these on for now. Then I'm just gonna put the screws in. So the way they did this, just to kind of give you a heads up, here's the old axle. Well, where it goes together is right here. There's a seam. So there's no other part here. And then of course the shock goes here. So what they did to make that better is they added another piece onto here. So when you put a screw through and you tighten it, not only the three screws that go in here are holding it in, but this top part's giving it a little bit better support, which makes it stronger. Okay, so gloved up. So, actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off the portal screws right now. They're a little, little guys here, they're 1.5 millimeter heads. And there is a total of six to remove. Now the good part about doing this is by removing these, I can also grease the gears in here. Now I know the front ones were already greased because I did them myself. And this one being the pack one, I'm not, I wasn't sure if I had greased these or not. I think I did, but I can't remember 100%, but I'm almost sure I did. But we'll know in a second. Because as soon as I take this off, we shall see. So what we're gonna do here is take all six of these off. And then I gotta do the three screws inside as well. one off for this one. And I know you guys can't see what I'm doing here because I've not run the camera pointed downward, which I should have. Actually, let me go ahead and get it to point down. So we took the six screws out from around here. I'm gonna pull this off and set this over here gently. And then you pull that out. Then you use your needle nose to grab your axle. You pull that out. And there is some bearings in here that's gotta come out. Now, so, or the 2.5, now I gotta go in here, deep in here, and try to locate the three screws. So there it is, guys. 
old axle housings been replaced with the new and uh, yeah so now it's time to put this back on the truck and uh, then the next step is going to be the reef servo we are finished Yay. cool so I got the new housings on here so they're stronger than the originals so the only thing I got left to do now is put the tires back on and uh, I think before I do that I might go ahead and do the front servo Okay, guys, let me get this light out of the way here. Um, got it back together. Turn this on. Get these wires down out of the way. Well, check it out. It's pretty tough. So, yep. There it is. So I got it back together. I uh, know the tires are on backwards. I didn't realize until after I put them on and I was just doing it really quick. So I got to take these off, spin them back around, put it back together again. But for now, this is what it's going to be. So now my rig is now that much closer to being like the out of the box axe edition. So let's go back over it again. I got the Reef 422 servo with the Red Cat little logo on it. I have the axe 2300, uh, the Hobby Wing axe 2300, 2300 in here, the censored. I got all metal gears. I now have the reinforced housings um, which has got the way the shocks are set up on here now and uh, other than having the fly sky radio I pretty much got the truck pretty much close to being going out of the box so there it is we're done. Okay guys, just wrapped it up. Looks good. The suspension's cool. Got the reef servo, the ax system in it. Pretty much, it's the ax edition via original. <laughs> anyway, I did this just because one, um, I figured the platform's the same and I wanted to show you guys who really couldn't afford to go out and dump $500 out, but you could spend $33 to put the reinforced, um, axle housings on here. And if you wanted to go a little further and spend 60, 70 bucks for a reservo, you could do that. $200 for the axe system. If that's what you want, you don't have to. Um, but I just wanted to build it that way. So now this is my axe edition, um, not out of the box. So there, you know, nothing wrong with out of the box. Hey, you know, more power to you on that one. You know, 500 bucks is a lot of coin. Not to say that behind me is not a lot of money, but thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, have fun with RCs.